Hello, I am William, and I am going to show you that some progress on a machine based on a Z80E at the moment. This will be just the test rig, and just to determine that the Z80E is actually indeed working, and at least see if it will fetch the ROM. Just stick some power onto it. Now the clock at the moment is just a single step, uh, just using a toggle switch. Now we have to reset it because it's a single step clock. You have to hold reset for a few cycles until the until the lights go out. Release. Oops, I don't know if I actually reset that. And I can clock it and it should start counting in binary on the address lines. This is just the low three bits of the address bus, so if it goes higher than that, it'll just I'll just turn off and start again. Now, how it's set up is the data bus has been pulled down to a bit zeros, zero bits, so that the CPU essentially is fetching no operations or no ops. And The clock is obviously putting the no op into a decode uh, decode circuit, then it'll decode the instruction and do what it says. And because it's a no op, it increments the program counter and fetches another byte from the ROM or memory in this case. Um, there are a few other lines, there will probably be memory requests and stuff like that, but at the moment this is just a functionality test make sure the CPU can actually fetch stuff from a ROM that's holding the reset. Obviously this thing is designed to run at at least 10 megahertz or so, so this is just um, single stepping the clock. Oop, I might not have held down the clock line, that was a reset line long enough. Yeah, might be doing some weird stuff because I hadn't held the reset line down long enough or too long I don't know but for the most part it is functional and you can't exactly make a computer with a dead CPU which I have actually fried one yeah, that's one of them I fried, I've got another one left so I've got two Z80s and a dead Z80 but that's at least the CPU functionality working.